Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today we're going to be taking a look at a new build of Android 10 TV on the Raspberry Pi 4. Now this comes to us from LemonCrest.com. I will leave links in the description. It's just a basic image and you can flash with etcher to an SD card, but if anybody's really interested in a full tutorial, let me know in the comments below. But in this video, I just wanted to give you a look at this Android build running on the Pi 4 because it's actually really interesting. And believe it or not, this is the best performing version of Android that I've ever tested on a Raspberry Pi, mainly because we do have GPU acceleration and it does support OpenGL ES 3.1. And that's something that's been lacking in pretty much all other Android builds along the road. So if we hop into IDA64 and head over to display, you can see it's using V3D 4.2 and it does support OpenGL ES 3.1. Resolution is set at 720p out of the box. Go up to CPU. I am overclocked to two gigahertz on all four cores and 650 megahertz on the GPU. And as you can see, we have the Raspberry Pi 4. I'm actually using the eight gigabyte model, but it's showing me that I only have a total of one megabyte of RAM. It's still using the RAM though. So this build is in beta. It's far from a daily driver and there are some issues. We don't have audio over HDMI. I'm actually using the 3.5 millimeter audio jack on the side of the Pi. And Google Play is installed, but unfortunately I can't install anything from Google Play. And I've actually went through and tried to link this with my developer account. So it is Google Play certified, but it's just not downloading from Google Play. So what I've actually been using is Aptoid to install my apps. But I say the main thing that this build has going for it is hardware acceleration or GPU acceleration. Like I mentioned, this is something that's been lacking from pretty much all other builds of Android for any Raspberry Pi, and I've never been able to get 3D Mark to run. But on this one, I was able to finish the test. I'll go up here to my results. And as you can see, it did the OpenGL test just fine and came out with 289. Very low score, even really cheap Android tablets are beating this out in OpenGL but it's still really awesome to see this running on the Raspberry Pi 4. So there are a few pre-installed apps like PPSSPP, RetroArch, and a couple others like Firefox, but I've gone through Aptoid and installed a few that I wanted to test. First up, we have YouTube. The app itself launches. You can do a search from the search bar, but it takes forever for a video to load. If I go here to Big Buck Bunny, it's gonna sit here for about three minutes. Then it'll start playing, and overall, it's a little choppy. And this very well could have to do with the YouTube app that I installed. I had to sideload it from APK Mirror, but I've really never seen this in the past. So it probably comes down to the build of Android we're using now. But I was able to get some native Android games installed, and we're going to test one out now called Brawl Stars. Now this game was specifically designed with a touch screen in mind, so I'm going to move over to my mouse here. But the game actually works pretty well here. Now this is not the most demanding game for Android and I completely understand that, but I kind of wanted to keep it light here just to see how it performed. And as you can see, I mean, it's fully playable. Now even though HDMI audio isn't working on this build yet, the audio jack on the Raspberry Pi is, so I have a single speaker plugged in here. The next thing I wanted to test real quick was a couple emulators. We have PPSSPP. This is pre-installed with the image along with RetroArch. I did have to sideload Redream, but here's PPSSPP. We're doing Tekken 6, 1X resolution, OpenGL. Round one. And overall, performance really isn't that bad. Now, even with Bado Sarah, Laka, and RetroPie, I do get better performance out of PSP on the Raspberry Pi 4. But given that this is a version of Android, I think performance is decent. We'll go ahead and back out of here and try Redream. Again, running Raspberry Pi OS or RetroPie, Redream is going to work better but I still wanted to show it off. We'll go with Soul Calibur. So it's not the best that I've seen out of Redream on the Raspberry Pi 4. Like I mentioned, Raspberry Pi OS or RetroPie definitely has this beat because it's using a specific Mesa driver that's packaged with Redream. But I can't stress it enough that this is an early version of Android 10 for the Raspberry Pi. This is a beta. So yeah, I mean, actually performance is really good when you take a look at Android running on the Raspberry Pi. 
Like I mentioned at the beginning, this is actually the best performance that I've got out of Android on any Raspberry Pi so far. I'm going to leave links to the website where you can download this image. You just basically flash with Etcher to your micro SD card and boot it up. But if there's anybody out there that really wants a full installation tutorial, just let me know in the comments below and I can make a video very soon. Just let me know. But that's it for this video. And like always, thanks for watching.